Hi, I'm Dave Carger. On TCM this evening, we're bringing you our celebration of 31 days of Oscar, showing Oscar-nominated movies in alphabetical order. Next up, we have a film that was nominated for four Oscars, winning three, and has quite simply become a part of American culture. From 1975, directed by Steven Spielberg, it's Jaws. After Spielberg was rejected from the prestigious USC Film School, he went on to work on the Universal Lot, where he directed a few TV assignments. Then he was given his first feature film, a low-budget movie called The Sugarland Express. Immediately after that came the enormous production of Jaws. Telling the story of a beach town terrorized by a great white shark, Jaws is based, of course, on the novel by Peter Benchley, grandson of humorist Robert Benchley. It succeeded in catapulting Spielberg to instant stardom, and the movie was a smash hit at the box office. It had tremendous implications for the industry as a whole, as its phenomenal performance at the box office essentially gave birth to the idea of a summer blockbuster. Perhaps the most memorable feature of Jaws is its musical score by John Williams. The simple two-note main theme that signals the arrival of the shark at first struck Spielberg as funny, given the ornate and complex musical scores that John Williams was known for. But Williams was quite serious, and the Jaws theme continues to inspire fear in moviegoers to this day. From Universal in 1975, starring Richard Dreyfuss, Roy Scheider, and Robert Shaw, Jaws. While Jaws had a huge impact on the entertainment industry, creating the summer blockbuster and launching Steven Spielberg to A-list status, it also contributed significantly to an increased fear of great white sharks. The author of the novel, Peter Benchley, later said he regretted writing the book the way he did, making the shark such a ruthless, man-eating villain, because he felt directly responsible for that perhaps irrational fear of great white sharks. Jaws won three Academy Awards for Best Film Editing, Dramatic Score, and Sound, and composer John Williams has gone on to have a magnificent career in the 1980s and beyond, and with an astonishing 50 Oscar nominations to his credit, he's the most Oscar-nominated person alive. Up next, we head down to Florida with Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall.